would have I told you that this peaceful little hill was made with random numbers, and that this entire world did not exist until like one second before. And no, I did not sit here for six hours placing grass tiles by hand, that will use too much time and also I'm too lazy to do that. In this video, I'll show you how to generate a world using Perl and Noise, but first, let's try the dumb way. Pure randomness. Here is our terrain generator. Each tile gets a random height. Yeah, just a complete chaos. Let's try smoothing it. I've got an old piece of code somewhere where I try to smooth noise like this. It's slightly better, now it looks like a landscape made of pyramids. Cool, but not what we want. So now and noise. I won't go deep into the math right now, but I'll leave the full model as open source in the description. Much smoother. This already looks like a real terrain, but we need more detail. Octaves adds multiple layers of pearl and noise is smaller and more detailed. Think of it like stacking translucent noise maps on top of each other. We can tweak how rough or smooth each layer is. Lationarity controls zoom, persistence controls intensity, and just like that we've got a nice looking world. But I'm not gonna just show you how I did it. Let's try better explanations. So let's move into the next part of the video. Procedural generation is like giving your computer a box of Lego, with a few rules. Instead of building every hill and cave by hand, we give it math and it builds the world for us. I'm building this in Blip, a funky little platform where I can code and preview game logic instantly. And also, you can test it by yourself inside the platform. So, pure randomness gives us chaos. I tried averaging the values to smooth them out, but that didn't work. And that's not a real terrain. What we really need is structured randomness. Berlin noise. Invented in 1983 by Ken Berlin, Berlin noise isn't just less random, it is coherent. Coherent. Instead of sharp spikes, it gives us natural looking curves. Imagine a grid of points where each point has a random direction vector. For any position, you calculate its influence from nearby vectors, then blend it smoothly. With the noise working, it was time to map it into a world. I used the noise value to pick terrain types, below point 0.4 water, from point 0.4 to point 0.8 grass, and above point 0.8 mountains. Then I added tweakable parameters. Scale, how zoomed in the map is, octaves, how much detail, persistence, how strong each layer is, and lationarity, how fast the tail increases. Sounds fancy, but messing with this can create some <laughs> cursed terrain. I still want to implement rivers, rivers, oh my God. weather, and maybe some cute little towns or something. You also see that I implemented trees and bushes to spawn in. The world is not just a flat terrain. Leave a comment and like this video if you liked it. And also please subscribe to my channel. That's my first video and yeah, I have zero subscribers for real. By the way, thanks for watching. See you next time.